Greetings, epic adventure seekers. I'm Allie Bierman, your guide to demystifying your world. And today we have our special Pearls of Wisdom, third edition here on Let's Get Metaphysical, Connecting Heart and Mind. So let's get right into it, starting with D. Wallace. So every thought, every feeling we have has an electrical frequency to it, which shoots out into the universe, which is electromagnetic. So whatever we're sending out, positive or negative, the universe is looking to magnetize to that, and that gets sent back to us as the reality of our lives. That's why the more positive, uh, the more loving, the happier and more joyful you are, the more you literally magnetize to you the things that you want. Your body is so complex. And for those of you who are just listening right now, when you hold your hand open with your fingers separated, energy runs one way. When you put your fingers together so they're all touching, it runs another way. The pads of your fingers have one kind of energy. The fingernails have a different kind of energy. The fingertips have a different kind of energy. And when you move your fingers in different configurations, you're sending energy differently. Because people are coming to you for the first time in your expertise. You know a lot about certain things that other people don't. So starting at the most basic level is the best gift you can give them. And when you listen to your story and you're telling your story over and over again for decades, for many years, that's how you get locked in to a past that you actually believe. And what you believe has nothing to do with the reality that actually happened. It's what you believe. Tell yourself something often enough and you believe it. And the worst part of that is you also start to think it's true. I have worked with kids who did not believe they were writers, but trust me, if you can make a grocery list, you're a writer. Um, and, and I can help you find a way to, you know, get your story onto paper or maybe audio instead. It's completely changed the way the medical profession is. And we went from natural remedies to suddenly nobody can heal their body naturally you have to listen to an educated person who tells you about medications and surgeries and i just stand for everybody having a choice that there are so many if you stop and think about it there's there's so i was going to say so many natural remedies that can work that would should be tried first and of course if you're in an emergency situation go to the hospital if you break a bone you're in a, in a you know a traumatic situation go to the doctor you know, I'm not suggesting there's no place for them, but I am saying that there are a lot of natural and alternative remedies out there that have been forgotten along the way. We're here to serve the greater good of everyone, not just you. Each and every one of us comes here with that task, with that mission and we each have a gift unique to us there's one thing in the world you do better than anybody else can do it there's one thing in the world i can do better than anybody else can do it you know for some people that thing might be smiling with a smile that brightens a whole room it might be having wisdom and clarity and instantly seeing a picture to know where to go to support somebody and what they need and in how they need it. There are infinitely many missions. You're in physical form and for everybody to hear this, physical is greater than disincarnate spirits. Okay? They don't have a body, you do. And 
you have the vibration of helping them into light. That's why they're, they're disincarnate. They either have lost their way into the light or they, they are earthbound for some attachment, but you can help them. You know, I was always taught to help a person release suffering. I got a question for you. Take a moment and come up with your response, okay? What do you want in your life right now? What do you want? Well, I would say chances are, you didn't tell me what you want. Chances are, you tell me what you don't want. Am I right? You see, our natural state in life is happiness. And if you don't live in happiness, true happiness all the time, which has nothing to do with circumstances, which has nothing to do with events, which has nothing to do with anything outside of you, if you're not living in true happiness, it's because you've got all these blockades in the way of who you really are. And the fact that who you really are lives all the time, not some of the time, but all the time in true happiness. You know, and the only thing they understand is they have a pain and who's going to solve it, you know, whether it's a problem or a pain and who's going to solve it and how you want to solve it. That's all they care about. That's all that any consumer cares about. Yeah. But if you're not telling them how you're going to solve it, if you're not identifying their pain and that you can solve it, then, then, then you you don't attract those clients, and then you say small. And I, I don't. I think we need to be bigger. I need light light workers need to be bigger, and they we should overtake the world because we're the ones that can bring the peace. I work solely with energy. I wouldn't go to anybody who doesn't. And when you're doing that, you have to be sure that the practitioner is clear. It's the first step I do, making sure the client's clear. If I'm training somebody else to do it, I make sure the practitioner is clear. So I know some really gifted people. They're not clear at all. There is one of my colleagues, every time I went to her, whatever the newest modality, whatever the newest machine was, whatever the newest philosophy was, surprise, surprise. It showed up as being present in me. That's not because it was present in me. It's because she was testing herself. Only she didn't know enough to clear it. She didn't know enough to recognize it. I had somebody else, no matter what emotional relationship thing was going on in her life, whenever she did work on me, <laughs> Her issues, her relationship issues showed up in me, only it wasn't showing up in me anything except her issues. I know on occasion I've been working on somebody and I say, wait a minute, that's my energy. That's not you. And I know how to step aside, make sure that person is clear and none of my energy is going in there to influence or impact them. And then after I've cleared that out, then I can go on assisting that person. Some of the whales, gray whales in these lagoons are old enough to remember the whaling, the hunting. Whoa. Yet, and they represent forgiveness because they have forgiven the human race for all of the atrocities we as a species have committed against them. And if a whale can forgive you and bring its newborn baby so that you can love on it and trust you enough with its most prized possession, how can we not forgive ourselves? Bad things happen in everybody's lives. People get hurt, they get sick, they lose their jobs, they get new jobs and they have to move away. Their friends move away, they move away. And when you are living in true happiness, your degree of true happiness determines how you get through moments 
in days and times and and how things work or don't work. You want employees to be more effective in their word, work. You should allow them to enjoy their life as well. You know, they, they in, in some, I think they have, they spoke about the Google culture uh, a while back where they allow their employees to go and play tennis or have a siesta in the afternoon because they come back refreshed with more energy, right? So, you know, forcing you to work eight, 10, 12 hours a day nonstop with a half an hour break for lunch, or oh, please, it just takes you that long to go and get the lunch if you don't bring it with you. <laughs> you know, not even time to digest the food. This is not a good work environment, which is why I decided to niche for those people who are so miserable in their work into a career transition to help them get a new life. What's happening is your unconscious mind is saying, oh, there's somebody who has characteristics of that early caretaker. Maybe it was a parent, maybe it was a sibling, maybe it was a babysitter, it was someone responsible for your care when you were a little kid. You weren't happy about it, but you couldn't do anything about it as a little kid. So now you're going to get it right. So you're recreating that relationship. And your partner's doing the same thing. So what you have is more of a locking horns than a content relationship. And that's why when your relationship happens and you have a honeymoon period, that might be three weeks, it might even be three years, but eventually you're, it's gonna come crashing down. I went back and wrote from her point of view about, oh, this creaky old woman is coming in and she's hanging on. And you'll understand this because right after that, I had been moving really well. I'd been using patches and all of that. I was, like frozen and, and needing her, you know, I'm right after doing the point of view of your creaky old person, I was that creaky old person again. Better choices. Everything in life is a choice. Every big thing and every little thing, everything is a choice that you get to make. And there's no such thing as, no, that wasn't a choice. What else could I do? You still make the choice to proceed in one direction or in another direction. In that moment, I felt that, you know, very deep connection with the dragons. And as much later until maybe like a year or a year and a half when the dragons told me that I was speaking an, an aspect of the dragon's uh, light language and that it was being polished, you know. So ever since then, they've been very much, you know, connected with me as part of my spirit guides. And so, yeah, I do receive a lot of messages and downloads from them and with them. Um, and they are just fun to be around with. And they're also very powerful at the same time, you know. And so, um, but yeah, that was like, that experience was, you know, amazing. Thank you for joining us here today with our third edition of Pearls of Wisdom. Now you saw a little ticker tape going across each person as they appeared giving you their name and the name of the episode. So you can go back to our website where you can listen to or watch any episode. And also remember, join our Facebook group. Now I have something really, really, really special for our next show. Dr. Marissa Pay, the happiness expert in the world is the guest for our 75th very special show. You really want to be here then. And for now, remember to enjoy every moment because nothing ever happens out there. Everything happens within you. I look forward to seeing you here next time.